yeah so from the top it looks like a square molecule but if you see it from the side it's a bent molecule correct and so you can see if you so uh, let's see if, if uh, let's see a Newman projection between these two carbons yeah so C1 and C2 and I will rotate and you can see that they are slightly off not by much but just slightly off correct if you rotate the molecule between C2 and C3 um, again they are slightly off okay between C3 and C4 again you can see that they are slightly off there is uh, th this reduces the torsional strain now the bond angle is changed because of the bent structure the bond angle is slightly more than uh, 90 degrees okay for cyclopropane it has no choice it has to have that eclipse conformation yeah so it has this bent structure this is um, uh, this is this is cyclopentane yeah and so you can see that this again uh, the last carbon you can see this this carbon is slightly off yeah so this is again a puckered ring structure uh, you can see that this 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 is actually coming up c5 yeah so this is off a little bit so that reduces the angle strain a little bit plus the 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 so this is we can say this carbon is actually uh, almost staggered not eclipse but almost staggered because of that um, puckered ring structure even this is likely so the so the the this carbon one two uh, one five and four they are actually staggered not eclipse okay whereas this ones are slightly off they are not staggered or they're not eclipse they are slightly off in between uh, this is eclipse so some of the 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 torsional strain is relieved some is still there but um, the idea is that it, it gets reduced so that molecule can be more stable okay if you take um, cyclopropane so let's say cyclo oops. yeah so this is cyclopropane molecule and you can see it has no option yeah it has no choice it has to exist in the way it is and so you can see that this is uh, these two carbons are completely eclipsed you can see that these two carbons are also completely ex eclipsed and you can rotate it again basically and then see that these two carbons are also um, completely eclipsed. there is a little bit of bending going on just to you know whatever the best you can do basically under the given circumstances but pretty much everything is eclipsed and, and the bond angle is um, 60 degrees there is a huge amount of angle strain in this molecule yeah, and so you, you compare this molecule uh, where it should be something like this yeah it should be something like this and it exists like this so that you can imagine the angle strain in this molecule